Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev channel and beta channel inside of preview builds. For the dev channel, we get build 26200.5751. For the beta channel, we get build 26120.5751. And once again, they are basically identical builds for the dev and the beta channel, which Microsoft is doing of late. So just a quick video to give you a overview as to what's new in regards to new features and improvements. Now the first new feature is once again only for Copilot plus PCs where Microsoft is putting a lot of their time and effort which obviously has been met with a lot of debate and it's new selection modes in click to do which is a Copilot plus PC feature and here you can see we get free form selection rectangle selection and you can also use control and click which are new selection modes in click to do AR. Now the freeform selection, how this will work is you would tap the freeform selection button in the toolbar to activate this mode, then use your pen or finger to draw freely around the entities you want to select. And then the rectangle selection mode, how this will work is you would click this button and then drag a box around the items you would want to select. And then control and click, you would use that with your keyboard and mouse to multi-select different entity types like text, images and more by holding down the control key and clicking on each item you want to include. So new selection modes in click to do for Copilot plus PCs. And here's a nice little user interface improvement which I actually think is a step in the right direction where Microsoft is updating the open with section of the file explorer context menu when right clicking a file to remove the accent colored backplate behind packaged app icons in the list. So for an example, that would be your snipping tool. And in doing this, the icons Microsoft said should be bigger and easier to see now. And I actually think that's a nice move and makes me wonder why Microsoft took so long to bring this user interface change. And while we are talking about user interface changes, Microsoft seems to be working on dark mode a little bit more in preview where they have introduced some improvements for dark mode. I'll leave that video linked as well, which I did post on earlier today. So one of those small little significant changes, as I would say on the channel. And then the last so-called new improvement is Microsoft is updating the animations for mousing over app groups in the taskbar. And I certainly hope this can be turned off in settings by toggling off animation features. Because obviously, if you are running a low-budget PC, this could e end up using a little bit of extra system resources with those animations. And then over and above that, we get a bunch of fixes for both the dev and the beta channels, which is normal. We are in preview, and because we are in preview, there's also a good couple of known issues, which is expected. And then there is a snipping tool update, which introduces window mode screen recording, which I did post on last week. And I'll leave the video for that linked as well if you would like some more information. So that's what's new in the latest dev and beta channel insider preview builds. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.